higher rates are getting to be kind of the antagonist of the marketplace, kind of the Joe Walsh of, of the economy. Uh, higher rates are the bad boy, but really they're not. Okay, What is going on with rates is not only something that is unexpected, we should welcome it. The, the notion of manipulating and managing rates for the better part of a decade and then thinking that higher rates is anything but welcome it is just crazy. Now granted, you need the right environment to have the rates move up without doing damage and my guess is that's why central bankers took so long to get to where we're at today. And to be quite frank, so far, so good. Now, the U.S. Fed is much ahead of all the other central banks, and their cumulative balance sheets are just starting to tip into the contraction period after resting above $16 trillion for a while. But borrowing costs going up is not the bad guy. The bad guy here is the notion of all the behavior that was created and all the corporate and capital structures that were created during the artificially low interest rate period. And that adjustment's got to occur. You know, whether it's carry trades, whether it's servicing debt, whether it's just the basic decision that's now going to have to go on between borrowing costs on one hand and higher rates of return on the other. Think about it from the big offices. What's the optimal capital structure going to be now? Are we going to issue more debt or are we going to start issuing equities? Is the age of buybacks going to slowly wind down? These are all very important things, but to understand them, you have to really think, you know, packing a snowball in Chicago in February. Globally, we are tightly, tightly packed. And the deleveraging process is never smooth. It usually goes in fits and starts. And the very bottom of the food chain of all costs is obviously interest rates. And it isn't just what central banks control. That's going up in the U.S., but market rates are going up no matter where you look. Italy, France, the U.K., Japan. So ultimately, how will investors deal with this and can it bring even better times? I can't tell you that, but what I can tell you is, is that the period of less than a week of turbulence and equity seems to be running its course and interest rates, though elevated, are well behaved. If this process can continue, I think investors can find a safe place between deleveraging and complete market avoidance.